Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, thank you so much for finding us and for joining us. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thanks for coming back. Um, we are we're doing well with 2024 so far. Um, <clears throat> I have I have been flaky on this channel since 2021 when I lost my grandmother, and um, I vowing this year to do better. And so far, I think I'm doing that filming stuff in advance seems to help. So anyway, so I am known for being, at least I have been in the past, for being quite scatty. Um, and I think this probably uh, is reflected in my channel. And I try every single year to do, I have tried every single year, previous years to do um, New Year's resolutions and I fail. I just don't think winter is the right time for me to do these things. I'm a seasonal person. I should do these things in the spring. But I always have tried to do New Year's resolutions like, ooh, yeah, and then I fail miserably. And then I feel awful and I beat myself up. We all do that, don't we? We beat ourselves up and um, then we feel awful. And it just is like this. So a few years ago, um, and I say a few years ago, Charles was 12 now and he was probably maybe two when I did this for the first time. I decided on my word for the year. Instead of New Year's resolutions, I decided that I was going to pick a word and that word was going to be my focus for the year. And that year was the, uh, my word was community. And I actually went, I basically went out and exposed myself to loads of social, social situations and made loads of new friends. Uh, most of those friends I'm still friends with now. Some of them I'm not. Um, and, but we, um, but that was that was my goal, community. And I did. I feel like by the end of that year, our uh, community was had been my word for the year. Last year, 2023, I decided to do this again. We got to the kind of end of 22, beginning of 23. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I need to do this again. This needs to be the thing. I found it on social media again. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Let's do it again. Hey, Charles. So last year, 2023, my word ended up being joy. I had a hard 2021, I had a hard 2022, and I was like, 2023 is going to be different, it's going to be better. So I went through this whole quiz that I, of these journal prompts that I put together, um, different things to try and help me work out what I was going to do. And I came to the conclusion that my word was joy. And I spent the entire year asking myself every time someone's like, hey, do you want to go here? Or, hey, do you want to do this? Or I saw something new. I would go, is this going to bring me joy? Is this going to encourage joy in my life? And if the answer was no, then I really thought hard about it. Like, but okay, is this going to bring someone else joy? And then will that give me joy? Like I was really joy focused. I had, I printed off stickers in my house. So um, on a kitchen cupboard, on the mirror near our uh, front door and in my bedroom, there was the word joy. And it was just a reminder on every floor of the house joy 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 that's what we're searching for that's what we're going for that's the goal is joy so I've done it again this year and I'll share with you at the end of this video what my word is for this year but I thought we could go through the questions and and I will share with you um there is a in the description a document that you a pdf that you can download so you with journal prompts so you can work out what your word for the year is and hopefully it will change your life like it's changed mine Okie dokie. So the first question that I would like you to answer is what made you feel stressed in 2023? So this could be money worries, it might be health concerns, it might just be because you've got kids and life's been and life is hard. Like you're in the trenches of parenting, you have little kids, you have big kids, you have kids with different needs, it, whatever it is, um, write it down. Just, and and if, if you only want to write down bullet points, that's absolutely fine. You might want to write out a little bit more um, and um, really, really, really go for it. Being like, okay, I've got some stuff I want to get out of my chest. Um, this is the space to do that. So what's made you feel stressed this year? If you want to share, if you want to have a space where you can share these things, uh, please feel free to email me. Um, drop me a message on Instagram. I am here and I would love to listen. So if you want to talk about things that have made you stressed this year and uh, you don't want to do it on a public forum, uh, obviously you can leave a comment here if you want to, but please feel free to reach out. I am here to listen. So when you've written down uh, what's made you stressed this year, I want you to think about habits that you had this year that maybe you want to change. Now, I am notorious for, I'm not a morning person. I am really bad at getting up in the morning. I always have been. Um, 
if I don't have something external to go to, I can quite easily still be led in my bed. And not maybe not like led in my bed sleeping, but like I'll be on my bed uh, scrolling social, doom scrolling on social media or reading a book or whatever. Or sometimes just in, like the kids will be in there with me and we'll all just be snuggled up together. But like some, some then suddenly it's 11 a.m. and the whole morning is gone. So that's something that I added to my list this year. I wanted habits I wanted to change was I needed to start getting up and about in the morning. Uh, maybe you want to start exercising. Maybe you want to uh, get healthier. You want to eat healthier this year. Maybe you want to um, get set up like a schedule of doing homeschool with your kids or home ed with your kids and you want to be like okay we're going to do these things each day maybe you want to um develop a new cleaning routine in your house like whatever it is obviously I'm just I'm those are examples because these are things similar things that I put on my list um I know that sounds probably very domestic but um that's the things that I put on my list is I wanted to get the try and get better at getting up in the morning what also means I have to get better at going to bed at night um I wanted to declutter my house I wanted to do couch to 5k there was lots of different things that I added things I wanted to change that made me unhappy um about my routines about my lifestyle that I was like hey I can do better here I want to do better here so when you've written down your habits that you would like to change um or habits you would like to start um I would like to know what accomplishments did you achieve this year? Now, if you just got through the year, <laughs> you started in January and you ended in December and you're still alive and everyone is well and everything's okay, you've achieved plenty and that can be the thing. Do not sell yourself short. The fact that you just got through the year, like every everyone's difficulties is relative and I don't want you to sell yourself short because nothing like big happened. You didn't like, oh, I wrote a book this year. Like, hey, I just, I kept my kids alive. We got to the end of the year, we were all well, we were all here, everything was okay. Um, even the little things, even if it's something like, I don't know, I took some time for myself. That's an accomplishment. Even the little things, okay? Sometimes you have to reframe them in your mind, but what did you accomplish this year? For me, some of those things was that I kept to my word of the year before. So my what I accomplished in 2023 was really doing some big healing. Um, and yeah. So I, I, that's what I did. That's my, that was mine. I wanted, I wanted joy. I had 2022, which was full of disappointment and I wanted 2023 to be full of joy. So, um, full of things that were going to be good and they're going to make me happy and find out what made me happy actually, because there were so many things I was living for other people all the time. And I wanted 2023 to be more about my happiness. Um, and that's what I accomplished last year. So, um, I had a good year. My granddad got sick in the autumn and I had to change quite a lot of my life to take care of him. I'm still taking care of him. Um, but like I accomplished joy and that was the only really stressful thing that happened apart from losing my job without school at the beginning of the year. But that was kind of, that was a blessing in disguise. Um, so the next question is moving on is uh, what prevents you from living a slower life? Uh, so this one for me, it was just a big old thing and it was like kids in a massive box because my children have lots of activities that they do and that's, that's, the, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing that prevents me from living a slower life and um, I can slow it down to a certain extent but some days I still, I'm running around like a headless chicken. So what prevents you from living a slower life? If you're watching this channel because you're a home educator, I'm going to bet your answer is really similar to mine. It's probably your kids, but that's okay. Um, how much sleep do you need to thrive? Now, this one. <laughs> I find I need to probably need like 10 hours sleep to thrive. And even when my kids are sleeping really well and going to bed really well, I still don't get 10 hours because ADHD. Um, but so, yeah, it's, for me, it's either 10 or it's six. I need to get lots or I need to get a smaller amount like and work with my sleep cycles. Um, how much sleep do you need to thrive? This one you can skip over if you want to. If you're really struggling with sleep and this is going to be one of your focuses this year, maybe don't. But if you're looking, if it's going to depress you, maybe just ignore this one. So what the first five highlights that come to mind in the past year? So I wrote mine down and I was like, oh, I had loads about one of my biggest highlights this year uh, was outside time with the kids uh, during the summer, some of the summer holidays and other school holidays um, when we weren't doing uh, forest school. We went out into the forest with friends and we spent all day in the forest. And oh my gosh, it was so, so amazing. And that's like a big highlight of my 2023 was, was this time with friends and outside. Um, 
So what are your five highlights? I can't remember the rest of mine. They're on it. They're in a notebook, and they're not from. Then every we don't have to share these things anyway. So, um, or how much time did you dedicate to hobbies this year? I wrote basically zero. Um, I barely. I love. I love to sew, and I didn't really sew anything last year. I have got back into that this year, making stuff for friends. Um, I have three new babies coming into my life this year. Um, uh, which is crazy, uh, but very exciting. And um and i also have um my uh some very my best some of my best friends uh bessie squad parents uh, they have a beautiful baby girl who will be one in the spring so um i love making things for her it just i'm just like i'm not gonna make her something uh so i'm gonna make some summer clothes for her um little, like romper things and just cute little frilly baby cute things um so i'm gonna try and, do, and i'm gonna and i'm making dresses for bessie and and uh, when I've accomplished some of my fitness goals, which I will be talking about on the channel later on um, in the spring, um, I'm also going to make myself some pretty dresses too. Um, so, and I would just like to be with my horses more and ride my horses more. So that's all, all in the thing. So, but, so last year I barely dedicated anything to that and I'm already doing better and it's only the end of January. So then when you think about um, um, your last year the so this in case 2023 uh what were the first what are the first three words that come to mind um mine were all really sad mine was like when I was talking about 2022 I was talking about like st I think the words I used were like stagnant disappointment and sadness and I was like well that's depressing um my words for 2023 when I did this exercise just a couple of weeks ago were joy togetherness community and I was like oh my god I had such a better year such a good year and this I know I'm putting it down to this method this is what this really really worked for me and I, that's why I wanted to share it with you so that's last year we have processed last year this this is what's happening. What's on your paper now? That's what happened last year. The things that went good, the things that went bad, the things that were hard, the things that were okay, what you need, all on the list. Yeah? Now we're moving on to what you want for 2024. Now, we have got some headings and we're going to start with those. So the headings are relationships, work, physical health, wellness and mental health, lifestyle and hobbies, and life milestones. Now, um, relationships. That's not just your relationship with your partner. If you have one, it's also your relationship with your children, your parents, your siblings, your friends, any relationship you have, even your relationship with your dog, who my dog was around here, but she's gone now. Um, any relationship that's important to you isn't the thing. Work. If you are a stay-at-home mother, that's your work. And I'm saying mother because that I'm a mother, not because I'm not expecting other people who are, do maybe don't identify as mothers to be watching this, but I'm saying this because it's from my point of view. So it totally encompasses um, dads and parents as well. Uh, but um, uh, physical health for me, this is about fitness and healthy eating this year. Um, so what is it for you? Write some things down, like some bullet points, things that you would like to achieve. Because when you set the goal, it's at least one step towards achieving it. If you don't set the goals, that's less likely to get there. Wellness and mental health. Uh, for me, this was like hob like making sure I'm doing my hobbies and that sort of thing. Uh, lifestyle, uh, lifestyle and hobbies. So um, for me, that was like being with my horses more. It was walking the dog more. It was sewing more, etc. Life milestones. I put in this category, I don't want any. <laughs> I don't want any milestones this year. I just want another quiet year of just normal life. So, but you might be, you might be trying for a baby. You might be getting married. You might be moving house. Uh, whatever it is that's going on in your life that you think might be big that's happening this year or you're hoping that's going to happen this year, write it in there. If you don't have anything big, you're just kind of letting the sea, doing what I'm doing, letting letting the year unfold and see what happens, then just leave it blank. Um, so when you look at what your um, intentions are your goals your that you're setting under these headings i want you to write down some words really just kind of think about it and you might already have them when i was on this section i already had a word in my head and i was like i think this is going to be the word but i want to keep going what words are popping up for you just write them down don't think too much just read what you've written write the words down so by this point um i had at uh, written I had written um balance joy gently progress rhythm and memories and I had already kind of and joy had been my word last year and I knew it wasn't my word this year 
but progress. That was the word that came into my, had been in my head since I started writing my intentions. Progress, 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 progress. And this is my word for the year, progress. And I have progress on my kitchen cupboard. And I have progress in my bedroom. And I'm going to have progress very soon on my mirror. I've just got to find the sticker because I lost it. Um, and then uh, once you have decided on your word, uh, let me know. You, if you don't want to share anything else, drop a comment. Just tell me what your word is. And I would like you to make a vision board because uh, if you are, a, uh, you might not be a visual learner. If you're not, don't bother. I'm not going to bother. But, you know, if you are a visual person, you like to have these reminders, then let's do a vision board. Um, I put things, so when I did my word that was joy, I made my vision board and I really sat about what made, what actually, what gives me joy? What gives me joy? And I put those things onto the thing. So I have a picture of a couple and I put Philip, which is my husband's name. And I had a picture of three children. And I put the children and I had a picture of uh, some friends having coffee because friends and family. I had a picture of someone sat in front of a fire reading a book because I wanted to be able to relax at home. I had a picture of two horses because I have two horses and I had a picture of a forest because for outside that was my vision board for joy I haven't actually done my vision board for progress yet uh, but that is next thing on my list I'm actually going to sit here after I finish this video and edited it and uploaded it I'm going to sit and I'm going to make my vision board and um I will share that with you on Instagram when I'm done so um I am um, have also added a quote to the bottom of my vision board. This was my 2023 vision board. And I said, joy is not found in things. It is found within ourselves and by interaction with others. <clears throat> so I have got to think of a quote or find a quote for my progress this year. And then I will um, get my vision board together and I will put it up in my house, I'll probably put it in my room. And I'll also probably have a copy in my journal, a smaller one. I journal every day. And I will open up my journal and then I can look at this and just remind myself, this is what I'm striving for. I'm striving for progress in certain areas of my life. So um, please share with me what your word was for this year. And I really hope that this maybe helps you get out of a rut. It's not a New Year's resolution. You are intention setting. And if you are seasonal like me and don't really do much till spring when it comes to progressing forward, then these last few months before the spring comes, before Stara, if you follow the wheel of the year, are just time for you to process what your word is for the year and process those intentions and really think about what that means for you. And then in the spring, you can gently sneak out like a little groundhog and um, decide what you're going to do. Thank you so much for joining us. That is a child on Alexa, so I gotta go. And I will see you very, very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share your word below. Bye.